morning wherever you are watching us from it's a good morning in fact this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it that is the word of god so i pray for you that today joy is your portion today gladness of art is your portion god's mercies are new every morning every morning the mercy you need to excel today the mercy you need to flourish today the mercy you need to be healthy today the mercy you need to prosper today as we pray together it shall be delivered to you in the mighty name of jesus let us pray father we thank you for another wonderful morning Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. As we look into your word this morning, bless our heart with your word. Speak to our heart. Grant us light and direction in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your word mix with faith in everyone so we can prosper today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So we hand it over to Pastor Toyin. I shall exhort us before we go to prayer this morning. Good morning. Good Mr. morning. Twain. It's a beautiful day today. And I just want to say good morning to you. I believe so much that one of the reasons why God created morning and evening is so that whatever happened in the past, we can just close the chapter and start on a new ground and start on a fresh note. So this is a beautiful morning and we are starting on a fresh note and I just want to exhort us from the word of God in Psalm 23 verse 2 but we'll start from verse 1 since the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still water so on this beautiful day as we wake up to new the provision of God since the Lord is our shepherd and what's the work of a shepherd a shepherd is to guide the sheep from the place of abode to where they're going to find food green pastures so if I would jump to verse 2 so when they leave the house in the morning as you're going to be leaving the house this morning the Bible says it makes me to lie down in green pastures he knows where your provision is for today and it's going to lead you there Amen. he knows where the connection is for the day while i was just studying that place you know commentary made us to believe that in the open field there are so many patched places there are so many places that you know do not like around there are places where the grass is really green it's not only for food but you can rest some will just be for food, but there are places where the pasture is green enough. You know, the temperature is good enough for you not only to feed, but you can also rest there. You can also lie there. It's not, it's not, it's not a hostile environment. And I believe strongly that as this day is a beautiful day that the Lord has made, He's going to lead you to an environment. It's going to lead you to a place. It's going to lead you to a relationship. It's going to lead you to a, com a, a company, a career, where you will have more than enough. Because the Bible says, I shall not want. You will have more than enough. You are not going to be in lack. Amen. You will not want any good thing. Amen. Not only that, the place will accommodate you. Amen. It will accommodate your makeup that is your your character your your strengths mm -hmm. that is what will be celebrated there it is not a place where you'll be tolerated the almighty god who is our shepherd he will lead you to a place where you'll be able to lie down mm -hmm. where you'll be comfortable mm -hmm. in green pastures a place of growth not a place of redundancy not a place where you will go down mm -hmm. if the place is green and what does green mean? It's a place of growth. A place where you will continue to develop from glory to glory, from strength to strength. That is your portion today. And that's what God is telling us this morning. That's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. A day where God will lead you 
to where you will grow information that will make you to grow information that will make you, people to look for you across the world the lord will send it to you this morning in the name of jesus mm. so but the, the bible tells us that is the one that makes us to lie down in that place sometimes we feel that with our calculation with our head knowledge we can pinpoint where is green pasture but sometimes it's not like that sometimes it's not obvious the green pasture is not obvious it is the lord that can lead us to that particular place it is the lord that knows where it is could joseph have known that egypt was a green pasture for him could he have known that the the, the prison of the palace would be a, a route to green pasture no but because he has made the Lord his shepherd, and that is uh, my admonition for you as you step out today, just continue to declare, Lord, you are my shepherd. I am your sheep. Please lead me, direct me, guide me to where you want me to step. I, I will not step where you don't want me to. Mm -hmm. And that was the prayer of say, If you will not go with us, don't let us even move from where we are. But as you go today, the Lord will go ahead of you. It will make every crooked way to be straight. Mm -hmm. It will uplift every valley. And it will lead you. This It makes me to lie down. You see, when the Lord is our shepherd, as you go today, we have to be willing to be made. We have to be willing to be, to be formed, to be corrected, to be directed, to be led. You see, when you are led, you are following behind. Mm -hmm. So as you go out today, Pay attention to what he wants you to do, who you he wants you to talk to, who he wants you to bless mm -hmm. and be a blessing to. Because sometimes when we are a blessing, it's just a seed to an open door. A problem that we encounter in the day is there's just a door behind that problem that we open to us, and that will be like the green pasture. So the green pasture is a place of rest. Is a place of peace there's no contention there the bible says you are lying down can people lie down where there's war can you sleep when there is fighting you can't so that makes us to understand that that place is a place of peace a place of rest and that is where the lord will lead you today in jesus name a place of calmness it will lead you there today whatever raging storm has been before now because today is a fresh day we are opening a new page every such raging storm it's calm now in the name of jesus mm -hmm. when they woke up jesus said hey master carry it not that said, no 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 that is a thing of the past he commanded the storm he said peace be still the same thing i speak to you this day peace be still in the name of jesus mm -hmm. why do i know that the storm has to be still because the bible says the lord is taking us to a place where we can lie down the, the disciples could not lie down because there was a raging storm but when the lord says he's taking us to a place where we will lie down every storm has no choice but to be still mm -hmm. Every storm that is not making you to be still, I command this morning, this day, they will be still in the name of mm. Jesus. Because today, you will enter your green pastures. Mm. You not only enter it, you will sit comfortably. You will be established in your green pastures. Mm. Not only that, you will lie down in your green pastures mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. And you will have more than enough more than enough to to give away because the bible says that when the way it says green pastures <laughs> you know there's no scarcity there there's no scarcity there and that is the portion in jesus name but quickly when we get to the it makes me to lie down anybody that god makes to do something he has a purpose for doing it god doesn't just take you there just for your for the purpose of only your enjoyment you know so as you go in through the day there are some things god requires of you he's taking you to a green pasture for a purpose the reason for the provision is a vision so provision so for the vision so when god is taking you 
to the green patch, you should be asking at the back of your mind, Lord, what is this provision for? Lord, who are you sending me to? Lord, what do you want me to do? Because this is, this is not just for survival. What God is bringing your way today, the connection, the contact, it will blow your mind. Mm. It is more than enough for a generation. So it is not just what we are going to eat. No, what, no, that's not it. It's for blessing of the nation. So what do we need to do? We have to be grateful. Let's remain grateful. Gratefulness keeps the door open. Let's be grateful. Let's be wise. What are you going to do with the resources today? Be wise with your time. Be wise with all the resources, the people that God placed around you. Be wise be wise number three be humble the bible says humble yourself before the mighty hand of god be humble and guess what humble yourself don't let anybody humble you when you humble yourself nobody will humble you the place of green pasture is a place where despite the the promotion of god we are still humble despite the elevation of god we are still calm people can still talk to us we are not beyond correction we are not beyond you know we, we are, are beyond access we have people have access to us number four stay close stay close to him because he's the one that took you there in the first place mm -hmm. don't forget he's the one that is making you to lie down there because you didn't even want to go there in the first place joseph was like i, I did not do anything to make me come to this place but god made him to lie down there and he realized that was when he said god brought me here ahead of you so he stayed close so stay close to him and then finally do his will with the resources channel it where he wants you to channel it be a pipe be a pipe of blessing as it's coming ask him what do you want me to do with it who do you want me to bless with this what what uh field what uh uh, uh place of business which kind of business do you want me to go into with these resources let's seek his opinion and then what not to do quickly this morning avoid unnecessary noise and publicity the the money i don't want to narrow it to money the resources of course money is an integral part that god is bringing your way today by means of connection position promotion it's not oh it's not necessarily for let people see me let people notice me if you if you look at that verse too it says it's lying down the other place is still waters it's a quiet place we are quietly shifting things in the kingdom quietly accomplishing great things joseph was still attending to every customer as the prime minister it's not about the noise. It's about what God wants us to do when we get in position. Number two, don't be proud. I've said it. What to do? Humble yourself. Make yourself humble before the mighty hand of God. Because the Bible says God resists the proud. So number three, avoid waste. This is not a time to start buying everything we see, the latest this, the latest that in town be wise with me don't avoid waste number 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 four plan ahead and invest so there's a lot for us in this day that god is bringing our way once that once it comes because pharaoh asked joseph he said so what do we do now he said appoint a man to do this and do that i said ah, we are not going to find anybody you are the one we are going to so there, a plan was already there so plan let there be a plan. Don't just waste the resources. Say, ah, for the first seven years, oh, the green pastures is going to last. He said, let us keep 20% aside. So there was a plan. All right. Be disciplined. Self-discipline. <laughs> Avoid money trap distance. What does that mean? When sometimes when people come into a great resources suddenly, that makes them to be so busy that they neglect the place of their communion the place of their daily fellowship with god their bible study their commitments in their local churches they become exceedingly so busy they fall into the money trap distance so avoid that and finally 
don't fake busy just because you don't want people to have access to you so he makes me is my maker is the one directing me i'm acting a script right now is the one telling me stop there stay uh, scene one scene two is my director is my guide is the one that is leading is leading me into the green patches leading you this morning mm -hmm. and as you enter this day the green pastures will show up to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Where others are not saying it, the Lord will open your eyes. Mm -hmm. You will spot those opportunities mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. And Pastor mm -hmm. is going to be praying for us this morning and it will be quickened, you know, into our place, you know, of growth in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. Ma, ma. Wow. Can I just go ahead and give God thanks for um all is done for us today for someone today you are entering to your green pasture mm. not because of anything just because god is your shepherd mm. i see for god to be your shepherd the implication of that is that he must be a sheep mm. he says sheep hear his voice and he knows them and they follow him mm. so before we go to prayer probably you are here under the sound of our voice and you are not the sheep of God yet. Mm. You cannot say, God is my shepherd. Mm. You need to give your heart to Jesus. Mm. You need to give your life to Jesus so that I can be his sheep. Jesus said, my sheep, they hear my voice. Oh, and not my goat. Mm. It's my sheep. Mm. So if you want to be Jesus' sheep, you want to be part of his fold mm. so that I can lead you, can guide you, then put your hand by your chest as a sign of commitment to him. Mm -hmm. I say this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus, name of I, come Jesus. I come to you today. I acknowledge I'm a sinner. Cleanse me from all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood and write my name in your book of life. And come and be my shepherd from today forward and forever in the name of Jesus. As I pray that prayer, I agree with you. Your sins are forgiven. They are washed with Jesus' precious blood. Your name is written in God's book of life. In God's kingdom, you know, be found one thing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for anyone out there too that you used to be a child of God, you used to be his sheep, but now you have gone far Amen. from him. You can come back today. If you want to come back to him, put your hand by your chest as I pray with you. I pray for you today, you that you are coming back, that the Almighty God will receive you. Amen. That your sins, even as you have declared are forgiven you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Almighty God himself receive you back today Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for everything. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So I want us to pray this morning that the Almighty God will guide you. He said, my sheep hear my voice. So I want you to ask the Lord, Father, open my ears, open my ears to hear. To hear. In, the In the name of Jesus, Jesus. open my ears open to my hear ears you today. To today. And guide me, O oh Lord, to my green pasture. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, open my ears to hear. Open my ears to hear your voice. Open my ears to hear your word. Open my ears to hear you as you guide me to my green pasture. In the name of Jesus. Lord, open my ears. In the mighty name of Jesus, open my ears to hear you this morning and guide me to my green pasture. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You still get to pray, and uh, this time around, I want you to pray. You say He make me to lie down. So sometimes when God brings us into the new past, uh, green pasture, He wants us to remain there. But you say a lot of things will happen to people, and they will leave the place of their green pasture prematurely. Some could be as a result of somebody offended them. Scum should be as a result of some uneasiness or another thing they are looking at. 
I want us to talk to all my God. Say, Father, in the oh, name God. of Jesus, I pray for your help oh, to remain in the place of my green pasture. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I ask for help today to remain, to remain, to lie down in the green pasture that God Himself has ordained. In the name of Jesus, Yeke Basokotoli Handa, Labro Skandali Abo Shata. In the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone under the sound of my for the grace to remain, the grace to remain, the grace to remain to in the place of their green pasture to lie down. In the name of Jesus, give to everyone. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Why do we need to pray that prayer? You see, because sometimes when God brings his people to the place of green pasture, it may not be obvious initially. Mm. For Joseph, while he was in Egypt, particularly when he was going through his trial in Egypt, it was as if it's, it's I mean, God has made a mistake, particularly when he was in prison. But eventually, that land of Egypt became a green pasture for him. The Almighty God himself will want us to remain where he has planted us. But say, those that are planted in the house of the Lord, they are the ones that flourish in the court of our God. So I want us to pray one more time before I pray for you, that Lord, the grace to remain where you have planted me. Until I see the flourishing, until I see the benefit, Lord, I receive today in the mighty name of Jesus the grace to remain, the grace to remain, the grace to remain in my green pasture, the grace to remain in my green pasture where you have planted me. Lord, grant me in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant me in the name of Jesus. Any power that want to take me away from my green pasture, I cause them now. In the name of Jesus, they will not prosper. They will not prosper. They will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, if there's anything in my foundation that want to take me away from the place of my green pasture prematurely, I cause it to wither. In the name of Jesus, J.K. Basso Kotoli Anda, La Probo Shekete Li A, Baragabo Shekete, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. You see, uh, uh, there, there, there are things that could be in people's foundation that will not make them to stay in their place of blessing. There are foundational issues that people get to their place of blessing, they get to their green pasture. But one thing or the other will happen and they will leave. Sometimes they will be forced to leave. Sometimes they will leave voluntarily. I want you to talk to the Almighty God and say, Father, Father in the mighty name of Jesus, anything Jesus, in my foundation, in my foundation that will not make me to stay and remain in the green pasture that you have ordained for me this season, by the power and the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood, of, blood of my redemption, of my I command them to wither. I command them to wither away, away in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and talk to the Lord, whatever is in my foundation that I want to take me out of my place of rest, that want to take me out of my green pasture prematurely, voluntarily or involuntarily by the power and the blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers Satan, the blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel. I command such foundational issues to wither in the name of Jesus. I command them to wither now in the name of Jesus. I command them to wither now in the name of Jesus. My life Life will not witness any any calamity. I will stay where God has ordained for me to stay. I will stay in my green pasture in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Okay, one more prayer. Stay along this line. Uh, in the book of Genesis, chapter 35, from verse 1, God told um, Jake and Jacob to go to Bethel. So you go to Bethel, and the Almighty God Himself will bless you there. Genesis chapter 35, verse 1. Then God said to Jacob, Arise and go up to Bethel and dwell there. And dwell there. That is where I'm going. And dwell there and make an altar to God who appears to you when you flee from the face of your brother Esau. So God asked him to dwell there. God asked him to dwell there, and as he was going, the Bible made us understand that God caused his terror 
to come upon everybody, so nobody could harm him. And all through those times that he was at better, God was with him and he prospered. But in verse 16, Genesis chapter 35, verse 16, the Bible makes us to understand verse 16. Then they journey from Bethel. There was no instruction for them to journey from Bethel. And that's why staying in your place of your green pasture matters. God asked them to go to Bethel, but in verse 16, and then they journey from Bethel. And when they were but a little distance to go to Ephrath, Rachel labor in childbirth. And she had that labor. She leave, they left the green pastor that God himself has them to dwell in. The very first thing that happened was what, was what we saw. Rachel went into hard labor. At the end of her labor, she died. Read that a little bit. That same place where they left Bethel was when Reuben went and defied the father's couch. Those are the two terrible things that happens to Jacob. They all happen because he left better when God says you should do it there. And that's why I'm going to pray for you one more time. Mm -hmm. You see, there's the, our security is in God. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, right from the scriptures, Jacob has said that anybody that they, they this thing of the father is will die. So I know that's the problem. You see, there are places that even by the time he dwells in some places under God, mm -hmm. causes will not work. Mm -hmm. If there's any cause that is hanging, it will not work. Once you are in the place, God asks you to. But immediately they left better. It was from one calamity to another. And that's why I'm praying for you as we round up today. That place that God himself has planted you, nothing will take you out of there. Amen. You see, there are some people that there are things in their foundation that keep pushing them out of where God has put them, pushing them into danger, pushing them into calamity. I pray for you today, it will not prevail against Amen. you. Whatever has been determined against you, whatever has been planted in your foundation to move you from where God himself had called for you a place, a, a ugly pasture, today by the power and the blood of God, the blood of redemption, I command us to wither away Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. That place that God has planted you, your green pasture, you will remain there. Amen. No evil will take you out from there. Amen. No calamity will take you out from there. Amen. No power in your father's and your mother's house will take you out from there. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. As you go into this day, you will be led by God. Amen. You will go forth with joy. Amen. You will be led forth with peace Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will get to your green pasture today. Amen. You will find rest there Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for everything. You, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 We wish you a wonderful, blessed day. We are with your testimony and shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Do have a wonderful day. God bless you.